And we're talking about possessive adjectives on page 98. So what are possessive adjectives? At possessive adjectives are, first of all, they're adjectives, okay? And what kind they are possessive. So what do adjectives do? Anyone know? Right, they describe nouns. So an adjective is a word that modifies or gives some kind of further information about the noun. So for example, the door. The door is a noun. Blue door, blue is a color describing what the door is like. Okay. Uh, a possessive adjective is a word that describes the noun in a way that tells you to whom the door belongs. So my door, the word my is an adjective because it tells you something about the door just like blue tells you what color it is. Except that instead of telling you what color, it tells you to whom the door belongs. So that's what a possessive adjective does. It's an adjective that describes who possesses the noun it's, dis it's modifying, it's describing. Now in Spanish, we have some things that adjectives do that English adjectives don't do. So when it comes to Spanish, you should know, you should already know, I mean, that Spanish adjectives have to match the noun in gender and number. So for example, the door is puerta, so it's feminine, and the number, it's singular, door. Puertas would be doors, a libro would be book, which is masculine and singular, and libros is masculine and plural. So if I want to say um, the, the door, the word the is an article, so it has to match in gender and number, just like adjectives. So I would say el, sorry, la puerta, but if the door changes to plural, doors, then I have to say, I have to change the adjective to las puertas. If the noun changes from door, a feminine noun, to book, a masculine noun, then so does the word the, because they have to match in gender and number. So it would change from la puerta to el libro. El and la both mean the, but they change gender. The word the changes gender depending on which noun it's modifying. So these possessive adjectives have to do the same thing. Depending on the gender and number, of the noun they modify, you will choose to do change or not change something with a possessive adjective. So looking at those adjectives, it says me, M-I. That means my, like my chair, my book. It's an adjective that describes the noun telling you to whom the noun belongs. If I say chair, okay, my chair, uh, chair is the, the word for chair is silla, S-I-L-L-A, silla. So um, it's feminine. So if I want to say my chair, I say mi silla. If it's plural, chairs, then that means the adjective changes to be plural. Mis sillas. Okay. Now notice me, the one that, I, that owns the chair, is still singular. Okay, so every time you change one of these, me to mis, or tu to tus, or su to sus, or nuestro to nuestros, or anything else, you're not changing whether or not the people who own it are plural, you're changing whether or not the object being owned is plural. So if I want to say chairs, I say mis sillas, I don't say nuestros sillas, all right? So don't confuse the person owning being plural with the thing being owned as plural. All right, me and mis, um, my chair and my chairs. Now, tu means your, not you, okay? You should really make sure you recognize that because the word for you is said the same way. It still is tu, but it's spelled with an accent mark on the you. Tu. So tu with an accent means you, but tu without an accent means your. So don't confuse those. Uh, su means his or her, because it's third person. 
However, it could also mean your when you're referring to someone formally. So the word tu means your. If I'm saying, uh, Leah, your chair, tu sia, that would be your chair. But if I'm talking to Mrs. Cuzo, I wouldn't use tu, I would use the usted, the formal form. So I would say su, which means your. But in a different context, the word su could mean his or her. So depending on the context, you need to make sure that you choose and that you understand the right, the right word that they're saying or that you're saying. All right, nuestro and vuestro. Uh, these ones do change gender. So if I say my chair, mi silla, but if I say my book, mi libro. So it didn't, the word mi didn't change just because the gender of the noun changed. It will only change if the number changes. However, with the words for our and all y'alls, all y'all's chairs, vuestro, your all, yours, your chairs, as in all of yours chairs, right? Plural, you all, plural. These will change based on the gender of the noun. So it says below, a possessive adjective must agree in number with the noun that it follows. So if the noun is singular, plural. But then it says, the forms of nuestro and vuestro must also agree with the noun they follow in gender. So if I say our book, nuestro libro. If I say our books, I would say nuestros libros. But as soon as I change the noun from libro to something feminine, like silla, then I don't say nuestro, I say nuestra silla. And if it's plural, nuestras sillas. And the same thing applies to vuestro for all your. Okay, any questions on how to use how to understand these possessive adjectives. Okay, so there's some examples below. My family, mi familia, mis hermanos, my brothers or my siblings, tu amigo, your friend, and so on. Okay, so go ahead and uh, work on the homework now. That's, we're only doing one section of grammar, the possessive adjectives. And then I want you to practice with it. The homework is 6, 7B. I'm sorry. Homework is 5, those questions that you already did. Uh, and then 6 and 7. The homework is online. You only do part of some of them. I think it's... Um, yeah, 6B. You don't do the first part of 6 because you have to listen to something. So, uh, And then 7, you do the first part but not the second part. And then you flip the page to 103 and there's some things about adverbs which are words that describe the adjectives and other things. Uh, I want you to read that section on the adverbs of intensification. Muy, bastante, algo, más o menos, poco, and no y nada. Read those and then do activity nine. So, okay, any questions? All right.